Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controllers. And in today's video, we're going to continue discussing the differences between Rosemont's level transmitters and Rosemont's level gauges. Keep in mind, this is video number three in a three-part video series. So if you missed the last two episodes, be sure to go check those out. All right, let's get started. On the left, we have Rosemount's 5408. This is a non-contacting radar level transmitter. And on the right, we have Rosemount's 5900 series of non-contacting radar level gauges. It's clear there are some physical differences between both pieces of instrumentation. So we're gonna run through those now. The first obvious difference between our level transmitters and our level gauges are the antennas that are available. Now, while they both look very similar, keep in mind that each antenna has been carefully designed for specific applications. So our level transmitter antennas have been designed to handle a high degree of variability in applications. Or on the other hand, our tank gauging antennas have been designed specifically for tank gauging applications where there's a high degree of commonality. Now, when we talk non-contacting radars, it's important to understand that accuracy and reliability are part of a two-part equation. The first part for non-contacting radars is the technology being used. In both cases, we are utilizing the highly reliable and accurate frequency modulated continuous wave technology. So we got to check there. The second part to this equation is the antenna that is being used, as the antenna is what facilitates the transmission of the microwave signal and receives the reflected signal back. So when we take a look at the parabolic antenna in both cases, it's clear that our tank gauge or our level gauging antenna is two times the size as our level transmitter antenna. And this is very important because when it comes to parabolic antennas, the greater the size, the greater the strength of the reflected signal. This improves the accuracy for our level gauge compared to our level transmitter. So our standard accuracy for our, our 5408 is two millimeters and our standard accuracy for our 5900 is 0.5 millimeters, four times improvement. Now, most times when people ask for a level measurement in their vessel, two millimeters far surpasses the expectations. When it comes to tank gauging, the more accurate, the better. When you think about it, can you imagine how much of a difference one or two millimeters may make over the cross of such a large vessel, especially when you have a large tank farm? The last piece of this comes down to the American Petroleum Institute or API for short. They have certain requirements when it comes to the act of tank gauging and the act of automatic tank gauging. Rosemount 5900 series meets and surpasses their expectations and requirements versus Rosemount 5408 may or may not meet it depending on your application. These are ultimately the differences between Rosemount's level transmitters and Rosemount's level gauges. Should you have any questions on any of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.